Hello everyone, back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Mancera fragrance. Um, they're a very affordable niche house. Um, they have a ton of different fragrances ranging from, I mean, pretty much every scent profile. But one thing that they all hold in common typically is they're very, very powerful fragrances and they have a lot of projection and longevity associated with them usually. Um, they typically come in a cardboard box. I usually just throw those away and keep this pouch. They, the bottles come in a pouch like this and it's very nice. It's like a soft faux leather pouch. Opens up, bottle sits inside. And today we'll be reviewing Silver Blue by Mancera. This one here, it uh, it's a little bit confusing um, why they named it Silver Blue. Just looking at the bottle color and the gunmetal gray scheme, you would think that it would be more of a um, mass appealing aquatic Dior Sauvage Blue de Chanel type fragrance, but it is not that at all. It is very far from that. It's actually a winter scent. Um, it's very potent and uh, for me, I would only wear this in the winter. It's, uh, it's very sweet, it's very uh, spicy, and um, insane longevity. So I will go into that just a little bit more here. So as far as notes go, the top notes are spices, bergamot, middle notes is caramel, amber, and labdanum, base notes is amber, oak moss patchouli, and precious woods. So, what do I get from this one? Um, when I spray it on, the spices are very evident, and they're so evident, in fact, that you gotta give it a minute to settle down. Um, right off the top, it is pungent and very piercing, and uh, you can't really go in for a smell right away, otherwise you'll get yourself in trouble. But, that doesn't last very long, and very, very soon, um, it gets kind of like a tobacco-y, boozy, sweet type of smell. I'm actually gonna spray a strip here and uh, remind myself of the opening. I'm wearing it today. I have it on my hand here and I have uh, three sprays around my neck just to remind myself. I've had this one for a little while, but it is my latest Mancera pickup, so it's fairly new to me. But one good spray on the paper. And I'll give it a sniff here to remind myself. Yeah, so the opening is, I get a little bit of the bergamot freshness, but paired with a ton of spice and, and just sweet. It comes off sweet right away. But I, I keep getting this booziness. It's like a, smells a little bit like a whiskey or a bourbon or something like that. Very pleasant. I really, really enjoy it, and um, the more I smelled it, the more I seemed to kind of get addicted to it. Um, it's uh, it's one that I sprayed on when I first got it, didn't really enjoy it, it seemed very alcoholic and sharp, and um, I don't know, it seemed like paint thinner, that kind of a smell. But I've let it sit now for two, three months, and it is way, way better. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it just needed to sit and macerate for a bit more. Um, I don't know if I got used to it, but I can tell you it's way better now than it was when I first bought it. And now there's there's almost nothing off the top that I don't like. It's potent, but it's it's delicious. So yeah, as it dries down, it doesn't change all that much. Um, like I say, the spices fade a little bit and it goes more into just a sweet, um, boozy direction for me. And I don't know what's giving me that boozy note, if it's the patchouli, sometimes patchouli can kind of have that smell to it. But as it gets in the very, very far dry down, I do get oak moss out of this. It becomes more green and almost freshens up again. I, it, as it progresses, it goes through a really dense, dark stage and then as it's drying down, gets closer and closer to its base notes, I notice it starts to get greener and um, fresher again, which is really nice change. Um, out of 
out of a lot of my niche scents, though, this one is very linear. Uh, it takes a long time for any changes to be noticeable. What you smell off the top is what you get for a few hours. I mean, it takes a long time for that just to kind of fizzle out and get into those base notes. Um, so, you know, you got to give it some time, you got to give it some wear, and I would not recommend spraying this on the front of your neck or on your chest or somewhere where it can continually waft up and around your nose. You more than likely will either go nose blind to it or in some cases it's given me quite a bad headache just because it is so potent. Um, I will never use all this juice. I, I would buy the smaller bottles of Mancera, but typically on discounters you're gonna see this size, so this is what I buy. Um, I don't ever buy Mancera full retail. They hit discounters all the time. You can find them way cheaper, under $100 for this bottle size. And uh, so I think it's a still of a deal as far as that goes. As far as longevity, I consistently get eight to 10 hours. And that entire time, I usually just spray on about three sprays around the back of my neck, nothing in front at all. Throughout that time, I get wafts throughout the day, just strong hits of it. And if I, in the past, I've sprayed more than that, some around the front of my neck, and I've literally had to scrub it off because I get a headache, it's so strong. Um, it's a little bit elusive from the fact that it doesn't smell strong, but it's just always there, it's always that smell, and finally your body, I guess your head just, I don't know, either ignores it and you go nose blind or it's gonna give you a headache, that's my experience. So just be careful with how you wear it, but a little goes a long ways. I do love the scent. Longevity is crazy good. Projection is very good. And as far as um, when I would wear it, like I said, personally, I live in a place where we get very cold winters. So I have uses for these types of smells and scents. Um, we have a few months of temperatures below freezing. So I wear it through the winter here. Would never wear this one in the summer, like I said. And um, yeah, I don't know that I have a lot more to say about that. I would highly recommend trying this one out. Uh, if you can find a sample, it's always best to sample first before you buy, especially Mancera. Um, they seem to be a very polarizing house. A lot of people either love them or hate them or lots of opinions on them. So that would be my opinion. But um, I do like the scent. Yeah, smelling out of atomizer there, it, it's it's a little potent. So I wouldn't go in too quick on this one. Give it some time, but definitely give it a try. Thanks for watching.